Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to any new viewers. This is a reading for Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Aquarius, this is your monthly reading. Let's see what's going on for the month. I'm going to pull some cards for your current energy, energy of the person, people, situations surrounding you, overall outcome of those situations. I'm going to pull some um, cards to clarify those messages, some final cards for advice, positive affirmations, anything else that needs to come out for my beautiful Aquarius viewers. I'm going to get right into it. Of course, it is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Feel free to check out your other placements. But if you do enjoy it, don't forget to like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. We've got the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Okay. It's almost like... Um, Aquarius, it's almost like there was something that you really wanted, which once you got it, it's like, I don't really want this anymore. <laughs> or is that, is this actually what I signed up for? Is this actually what I wanted? It's like something you thought you really wanted, you really needed, something that would make you really happy. You finally got it. And it's like, oh, now that I've got it, it's almost like the process of getting it was better than the actual thing when it came in um if that if that makes sense so it's kind of like it was like anti-climax it was a bit little bit disappointing there's certainly um something that has you fired up this month okay lots of wands energy here page of wands we've got the nine of wands as well Something has you very excited. It's almost like there's a new spark. You're looking forward to something new. It could have been off the back of that other thing that came through, which again, didn't really meet your expectations. So now it's all about, okay, let's start fresh. Let's put ourselves out there. Let's think about what else there is. There is a little bit of a defensive energy here too, though, with the nine of wands. So I'll pull some more clarifying cards to see what that's about, but there's something that um, has you putting a little bit of a wall up. It's almost like you're interested in something or someone. However, you're also holding back quite significantly. And maybe that's just based on what has happened in the past. You just, you're not, part of you wants to leap forward and part of you is really holding back. Okay. We've got the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. Lots of Pentacles energy around you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with um, strong Earth sign energy or working with an Earth sign, family members. Um, I feel like this is someone who really thinks about the future and really sets goals for themselves and really wants to work as a team. So Three of Pentacles is all about teamwork, working together, you know, let's put our differences aside and focus on the positive that come from those differences. How can we work together? How can we sort of combine our powers to create something even better for the future? Someone may also be very focused on their work, very focused on their money. That's taking up a lot of person a lot of someone's like mental energy at the moment you may also be putting this person on a little bit of a pedestal you have a lot of admiration for them you look at what they've achieved and you think how can I get there um, this is kind of what I want this is how I want to be this is how I want to live my life what steps can I put in place to achieve what this person has achieved very interesting energy here at the end because we've got the king of pentacles so i'll just point out that we do have a king and a queen here in the same suit and often that does represent you know a couple it represents a couple a partnership that is very much like two people on the same wavelength on the same page in line with each other right I'm thinking that someone you know, it's turning into more. It's almost like you're developing, if you haven't already, you're developing feelings for someone and realizing how well you two can work together and possibly vice versa as well. So with the Knight of Cups energy here, it's like taking that um, step forward, taking that chance, that emotional kind of communication to sort of get things moving. 
I feel like at the start of the month, you're kind of testing the waters. By the end of the month, it's more of a solid kind of step forward in this connection. And interestingly, it's it's looking like it has potential. Again, we'll, we'll clarify this. So let's pull some more cards for clarification here. But yeah, it comes off the back of something else not being exactly what you wanted or not working out. someone I feel you're very physically attracted to as well yeah look at that we're thinking about how to communicate here but we also have that really more defensive energy there with the seven so again it's wanting to communicate and then something holds you back wanting to communicate something holds you back so um that could be coming from this person as well that you're dealing with it's like the communication is a little bit up and down but it happens very quickly very passionately and then nothing for a while so it's interesting but you have to acknowledge that a part of you is causing that you're holding back you may have been you may have felt a little bit unprepared as well like you weren't prepared to have these feelings you weren't prepared for this connection or this communication to happen so quickly Look at this again, Ace of Cups, Two of Swords here. So again, th there are real feelings here. There's real feelings here. There are, there's a real potential for a new beginning in love. But then there's this just um, stuck energy as well. Why are we not able to make a decision? Feeling like you don't have all the information yet. It's like you want more information you want to understand the situation more before making a decision before moving forward um, so you may be trying to gain um, advice from people you may be trying to again just like do your research you may be trying to you know look at things online or look at you know this person's profile try to find out as much information as you can before moving forward because you I feel like you know that once you open up your heart um, there's that real potential for strong feelings to develop here. And again, on the one hand, it's like this um, push and pull between do I just speak from the heart or do I keep it really light and just keep the communication really sort of surface level. We've got the five of wands here. There's a lot of um, differences in opinion that are coming in. There's a lot of people around you that may actually be confusing the issue further. So to a point, getting advice from other people is good, but it's not when it just confuses you or you get too much conflicting um, information or conflicting advice. There's a lot of opinions. It might be time to just think about what you want. This could be someone who you know through um, friends, through a network. I am seeing reconciliation, reunion here, a chance to get together, celebrate, possibly in a big group of people. Look at that. We've got the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. I feel like someone around you, they also would like to express more of themselves. Because of the original Earth sign energy here, this person may be very grounded, may hold back, may not be used to like big displays of their emotion. Um, and so it's like bubbling beneath the surface, I feel. But one thing is for sure, um, you're on each other's minds a lot. Like this person's on your mind, they're on your, um, you're on their mind, they're on your mind. Again, there's this feeling of, um, wanting to um yeah really wanting to express there's something feeling a little bit imbalanced or unbalanced in the situation in terms of give and take like maybe you're you're thinking that maybe you're giving a little bit too much 
and so you're wanting a little bit more balance for some reason. But again, there's something that just has you stuck and holding back. But ultimately, you really want to take this leap. You want to have this new beginning here. You want to take a chance. Okay, and I see that happening towards the end of the month or the outcome of sometime this month. The outcome of the situation is that things actually will start to pick up pace and move forward. You're going to approach it in a very calm, rational way. be some sort of um, travel involved as well yeah travel movement travel movement possibly cl closer to water to get to this person it's also about leaving that um, that confusion behind it's getting quite tiring so it's time to move on to a more open honest sort of communication which I think will happen the communication is definitely going to improve and you're waiting for something to come in as well. You're, you're going to make this communication, but then I feel like it's going to be, um, you're like waiting for it to be reciprocated. It's going to be a bit tricky because we're dealing with someone who is used to perhaps people chasing them or perhaps other people making the effort. So you're not dealing with someone who is, you know, very used to or accustomed to chasing someone else. So that could be why you're feeling like you're not getting um, the response that you want or you're constantly the one that's having to think about things, think about how to approach, think about how to um, get this person's attention. But you already have their attention. They're already thinking about you. They're just like a cool cucumber. They're very cool, calm and collected very um, sort of uh, wise individual. They have a lot of experience. Sorry, I'm just going to... Quite a few fell, but I'll just pick up the ones that fell face up here. Um, so, yeah, it's like really... Again, it's this... It's this like not sure about how to approach. Something keeps again holding you back. You, you keep thinking about things. It's a little bit of overthinking I feel. There's a real chance for stability here. There's a real chance for success. I think it might take a little bit more of a drive forward. Let's um, see what other messages we get here. Let's pull some cards for other messages, advice. Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles, this is really all about knowing that it's okay to take your time because you're good on your own. You're good in your current situation. You've built up quite a solid foundation for yourself. You're happy. You're happy doing your own thing. Don't lose sight of that. Oh my goodness, look at that Ace of Water, Ace of Cups. So it's time. I feel like, again, that came out twice in this reading, right? Ace of Cups twice. So there's really a strong potential here for this new beginning, right? There's strong emotion there. I feel like it's on both sides and I feel like it's safe to explore it. It's safe to explore it knowing that even if it doesn't work out, it's going to be okay because you are okay. You're not relying on anyone very independent okay but it is it is time to make a call on this it's time to make a decision right um so by the end of the month or sometime this month we're gonna need to make a decision on in here right we can't just keep kind of being in this limbo forever but i'm seeing strong strong chances for new love here and a new connection and taking this connection whatever it may be to that next level because there's deep real feelings here on both sides i'm going to leave it there um, aquarius i hope you enjoyed that reading if you did don't forget to like and subscribe um, thank you again for watching and i hope to see you all in the next video